Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening today. So my name is T. So I want to ask you the one question that have you ever seen the mirror that when you feel so much stress or you anger that way? Do you know what? How does it affect us that way? My point today is I want. To I want you to know how you stress and your anger inside our life. I'll tell you that what adenocarcinoma is, and what level stress affect us, and adenocarcinoma lung cancer survival rates. I start to learn what anger and stress is is、uh, because my personal experience tell me that I've seen so much people. They cannot easy to control their self, and it's something do something bad or thinking a bad thing, or totally they lose their healthy or lose their life. So, for general viewpoints, many people don't really know、uh, why they really angry or how can they take care their stress that. So, first one. I want to talk about、uh, your stress level that、uh, way. According to Kapzemsky doctor, he talks about that way. Our stress has like three different kind of level. We got low level stress, moderate level stress, and high level stress that way. The key, and he also refers that the key is high high levels. Moderate anger may not be the problem. In fact, expressing anger in reasonable way can be healthy. It means that maybe your low level stress or your moderate level stress you can just release by normal, and it's good for your health because you really、uh, relieve your body, relieve your stress. Yeah. But another one, Doctor Yan Over talks about that one. High level stress turn to people smoke, drink, or poor diet. It means that when you face the high stress, high level stress, your behavior will be different. You will follow other people to do maybe like bad thing. You drinking, you smoking, you poor diet. It means that maybe you. It sounds really unhealthy. I have seen much people that just、uh, eat so much candies, cookies, unhealthy food, or they cannot just stop. They cannot stop eat something that way. Or people stay out for whole night drinking, smoking. All of this behavior because they face they face the high stress level. It changed their behave normal behavior. Also. Doctor Yan Over refers that there is some evidence that stress can lower immunity. Immunity is our body is like a、uh, the ne- neutral defense against the disease. If your immunity going down, it means your re- normal resistance going down, and your、um, Your cancer cells or your unhealthy is going up, so that's why people、uh, immunity going down. They get they get like cancer, they get、uh, disease that. Way. In the final, he totally talked about that way. Studies also shows that people are emotionally dis- distressed are more likely to think they are sick. We talk about this one.、Uh, people get sick, or people get、uh, much stress, or they lose their mind. They get angry. They might think about some bad things. When you think about the bad things, or when you think about you're unhealthy, or things you want to do something bad things, it, it totally attack your body. Your body totally follow your brain to become really bad. If you think about, you are really happy. You are you are really healthy. Your body will totally follow. Follow your thinking that you are you really a healthy person. 
so now you understand maybe a little bit about stress level next part of it, I call up uh, you need to understand a little bit about adeno adeno carcinoma lung cancer according to lying and dredge that way non-small cell lung cancer for 80 percent of lung cancer and adeno carcinoma is the most common type and it's around 50 percent adeno carcinoma lung cancer is the most common lung cancer found in female and it's all really often found in non-smokers that's why according to Taiwanese doctor O refers that way he analyzed all of adenocarcinoma lung cancer patients and breast cancer patients that they all have the same command which is they are not happy they're depressed or they're angry very often it, so this curse they're healthy the curse their health gone down recently Taiwanese scientists find out the truth of that why female get adenocarcinoma lung cancer more than men even though they are not smoker because female has three pairs gene are different or you want to say it uh, they have the problem so that's why female easy to get adenocarcinoma lung cancer more than men even though they are not smoke or they have never smoked last part that you want maybe you want to know about um, adenocarcinoma the survival rates maybe we can take a look a little bit on, st on stage one and stage two your tumor it has an metastatics yet in the beginning stage one or stage two you feel like a persistent cold it means that maybe you call very often or you feel like a fetish means that you tire all the time because your body get it weak start getting really weak and stage one your tumor tumor size is less than 1.5 inches but stage two your tumor size is bigger than 1.5 inches but uh stage one you can su your survive time is around 60 to 80 percent that you can survive over five years but recently we find out that maybe it's around 90 percent stage two you have 40 to 50 percent that you can survive over five years stage three beginning you have only 23% that you can survive over 5 years but after stage 3 beginning it means 3B stage 3B you can only have 10% that you can survive over 5 years and maybe doctor will tell you that you have only about 13 months life stage 4 you have less than 10% that you can survive over five years because your cancer cells is like um, metastatic is around all of your body maybe doctor will tell you that your lifetime is last as around eight months last one limited stage it means final stage is the final timing Maybe doctor will tell you that you have only 6% that you can survive over 5 years. If you want to do the treatment, you have only 2 to 4 months that you can survive. If you don't want to do anything, maybe... Um, maybe I should say 2 to 2 months is without any treatment. And 6 months to 12 months is you want to do a little bit treatment and the treatment is always like same uh, surge or chemotherapy or radiation therapy but it doesn't help it's totally doesn't help for the, like stage four or final stage that way because the 
your cancer cells is all of around your body everywhere that way. So right now you understand uh, all uh, today I have talked about how different stress level affect us and how adenocarcinoma is and the lung cancer survive rates. So remember do not let your emotion attack your health. Also, next time when you get angry or you feel so much stress, you might know what level is it. Maybe you can figure out a way or you can know how to control that way. You can release okay. You can release your stress or your anger. Uh, okay, that's what I want to talk today. Thank you so much and see you next time.